Good morning. Today is Sunday, June 13th, 2021. I have been continuing on, always experimenting, always having fun. I made some paper clay, not out of newspaper, actually, actually out of an old book. And um, I just wanted to work with it again just to see if I could fine tune the recipe it has never been strong enough for me where the pieces stay together. But you can do a lot with paper clay. Anyway, the first piece that I'm working on is this figure form, abstract figure form. And what I did was make um, sand molds that I could actually place under the body because if I made this whole thing out of paper clay of course it would never dry and it just defeats the purpose so actually this body has different um shapes of sandbag in it let's say there's one there there's one there maybe there's one under this leg and one under this leg this piece has been drying I would say that this is the third day and um I purposely wanted it to dry so that it would get firm enough so that I could kind of remove the sandbag. So I just wanted to record this. I started doing it, but I said, no, you better record it. So this was actually under her torso and her upper body. So I was able to remove that. So I'm going to continue on trying to remove the pieces, and then I'll go on from there. Uh, this is actually still wet. So I know it's going to crack, but um, I wanted to get those out of there because this lying on top of this paper, it's never going to dry. So I want to remove the sandbags and possibly put this on a tile so that it can continue to dry in a more thorough manner. This is the same paper clay, except I added a little sand. Now... I'll be the first one to say I know nothing about paper clay, I know nothing about grog, I know nothing about slip, I know nothing about anything that concerns with paper clay. I'm just experimenting. I put sand in this paper clay because I wanted to see if it would firm it up a bit. So, and I put sand in it and I made a little um, bowl out of rolled pieces of paper clay. And this is about two days old, and it is firming up rather nicely. It was also on brown paper. It wasn't going to dry that way, so I put it on a tile today. So um, I will just see how far that goes. But And yesterday I also bought some Ameco, M-A, no, A-M-A-C-O, air dry clay, which... Is different from paper clay and I haven't started to work with that yet but um yeah I think I'm gonna be working with the paper clay for a bit just to see what happens so I just wanted to record this stay tuned okay didn't take too long I would say about five minutes but all of this I have a support here, I have some supports here. All of this was under this body, like a piece was here, a sandbag was here, 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 here. Plus there was paper kind of like under the knee. There was paper in the breast area. Um, when I took the paper out, this knee collapsed because of the weight of this. I don't think there's anything else under here. So if I were able to turn this over, this would just be like a hollow body. But it's only, I would say, 50% dry. So what I'm basically going to do is just allow it to dry. I know it's cracked. Um, you know, this is just an experiment. But it also gives me time to work on these areas. I can... Um, I can, like... Kind of make, you know, gently form it more. Reinforce areas. I know this leg is cracked here. It's cracked there. You know, they're cracks. They're cracks. But um, 
basically I was experimenting with that sand mold experiment. Um, I will put a link to uh, this wonderful abstract figurative um, sculpture artist who uses um, this and her work is so beautiful. Her name is Michelle Collier. I will put a link to her videos and um, you will definitely get more of an idea of what I'm trying to achieve. But this is like homemade paper clay. So how far am I going to get really actually? But um, I love to experiment. But um, that's what's going on now. So I don't know if I'm going to do any more on it today because this is like really wet still. I think I will just let it dry and shrink and see what happens to it. And then I will continue on. Good morning. Today is Monday, June 21st, 2021. Um, just another update. This was made well over a week ago. Um, and I think the last video I explained how I shored up. It was in pieces, so now it's in one piece. Um, I just like to show the bottom because it is really hollow <laughs> I think that is so neat I don't know I'm weird you can see in the breast area where I had pieces of paper just to form the breasts and this part right here along the lower belly and groin area is where I shorted it up and you can see that that clay that is a bit darker has not fully dried yet so today is the process of drying my pieces um, I have my little, this is all experimentation. I am working with paper clay. I do not have a kiln. Um, I do not have a pottery wheel or any of that stuff. So I am making do with what I have. I'm using my, you hear the motor of the uh, dehydrator, which is only for crafts now. And um, I'm slowly just, every 10 minutes, I'm building it up until I get to 155 degrees because I don't want the paper items such as this bowl once I put it in to crack or I'm yeah I'm just seeing how they do I would like for them to come out in one piece but these are my first pieces and if they come out cracked then it's just a learning curve but I have some in here now and once they get to the highest temperature on the dehydrator, which is 155 degrees, I'll take it to my oven and start at 170. And then I'll see how far I really want to go. And also, I will straight directly put her into the oven at 170 because she's too big for the dehydrator. And 170 is the lowest on my oven that it will start at. And plus, this is just purely paper clay and... I know in the past I've put things in my oven with paper clay and they seem to do well. So just a little update once this is done, once all these are as dry as to the highest temperature that I'm able to go, then I will start finishing them, painting them if necessary, and probably will be resining most of them to get the hardest finish. It depends. I don't know if I really want that glassy, glassy look, but we shall see. Or maybe it'll be varnish. But um, this is the progress so far. I like my lady, even though she's so imperfect. She looks like uh, something you, you find in a dig. <laughs> in an archae archaeological dig, maybe. I don't know. But I enjoyed making her, so... Okay, that's the update. This is the final on this um, abstract figurative piece. Uh, this was made out of paper clay and um, it went through a lot of um, twists and turns. It had cracked in several places. It was an experimental piece. I... Um, patched the pieces and I guess I patched the cracks um, 
What I like about this piece is that it's totally hollow on the underside. So, um, and the, I applied my do-it-yourself gloss medium, which is Citrusol and styrofoam chips. I've made some videos about that. Um, if you want to see that, you can just kind of go back on my channel. Um, it gives it a hard, durable surface. And um, I just like it. I mean, in no way is it anywhere near perfect, but um, I just like it. I like the fact that I was able to use the sandbags under it to create the shapes of the body. And this is a pretty much a final on this. So I just wanted to just kind of finalize this.